That's strange. Why I heard chains? Maybe I missed something. Meta world makes no sense. Are you blind? Oh my god, I'm dumb. I didn't thought about this. I have some connection to everyone. And everyone need money, so... Is this Evatrice? Everyone's fine. So far. Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it seems it's about time. It's about time for Tea Party of Uneko Chiru episode 7. It's finally, it's finally here. So, yeah, tea parties are always amazing. Like, they've been so far, each tea party brought something new to the light. So, I'm really excited to see what tea party for episode 7 will bring out. And also, for the first time, when checking the tea party, I'm not afraid of, like, cutting, like somewhere like in the middle and like stopping the recording session because apparently it's really long so i don't need to like worry that it's not like 10 minutes to the end because i'm not i'm definitely not going to make it in one hour so <laughs> yeah let's just do it i guess so episode 7 tea party here we go Ah, let's see. Okay, start starting with silence. Are we going to feel see Federin again, maybe? Because last the party in episode 6 was when Bern met with Federin and they started the new game. So maybe it's going to be like epilogue of episode 7 when they start like discussing episode 7 with Federin, maybe? And I came to, all was silent. Uh, do I record? Yeah, I do. The lights were dim. And yet, the room felt large. Where on earth is this? Okay, whose perspective is that? Oh, we are... Okay, we are still on the... In the theater of episode 7. I was sitting in what seems to be a very small single sofa. Okay. It was very constricting. And there seems to be several more of them off to each side of me. Wait, do you just like... Once I noticed that, I realized that I was in the theater. Okay, so this person like... Didn't saw the play and just like woke up after everything like ended? That's strange. Oh, it's Leon! Wait, what? I guess, okay, okay. Uh, the theater that we saw was just like metaphorical thing, right? It's not like they saw the theater. It was just a conversation with Claire and just for like reader we had this uh, theater. So Leon didn't saw it per se. And now Leon just got like sucked into this. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how long I've been here, and more importantly, I don't know where this is. Well, that's like some kind of like weird meta word shenanigans. Magic. Badris Frunel ended. Everyone went back to the mansion and... Yeah. And what? And after that my memory gets fuzzy, and I can't recall anything else. Okay. Weird. Then I was surprised to notice the presence of another person and why I heard chains. Apparently I wasn't the only one sitting in the audience, uh, sitting at this vast theater. The sound had come from the seat to the side of mine. When I looked, I saw a girl sitting several seats off to my left. Okay, who's that? It was a face I had never seen before. Oh my god, new character. Are you... Ah! How many characters do we are we going to add? Who's who's, who's this now? Okay, is this like a new witch? Uh, I don't know. Like I don't know. Second second son, second like weird child of Kinzo or something like that we never heard about. <laughs> I wonder who she was. She looked like a high schooler or a college student. Okay, the only college student that I know or like high schooler is Angel, I guess. About the same age as I was. 
But Leon should know about Angel, right? Because she exists in his, in her, uh, in her fragment, right? It's just Butler wasn't on Rock and Jim at the time in the episode seven, but Leon knows about Angel, so should see her before. So it's not Angel probably. Okay. She groaned. Apparently, she has just woken up. I didn't want to scare her, so I decided to introduce myself first. <laughs> yeah, okay, it is Angel. How you don't recognize Angel, Leon? What the hell? Maybe I missed something. Maybe I don't remember the beginning of the episode 7. Well, I will be reading after the tea parties, so yeah, I will just refresh my mind later. But, yeah. Also, why are you here? That's a good question. And how did you get here? Like, magic. Better what makes no sense. Apparently, she was equally surprised to find someone other uh, than herself here. Last time she, like, well, last time when she we saw Angel, she was on the on Rock and Jima fighting the bad guys, right? She jumped when she heard my greeting. Yeah. Leon! Are you blind? Look! She have one too! Are you blind? <laughs> she looks suspiciously at the one uh, winged... Uh, uh, one winged crest em em emblazoned on my collar. Her stare, uh, which was unmoving, but not openly hostile, wasn't exactly pleasant for me. Uh, let me also check the characters. Do we have something new here? I don't think we do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You are basically... MJ, you are in a happy fragment. Basically. Yeah. Even you, Angel, even you are happy in this fragment. Because Butler never died, your family never died, so this is like happy fragment for everyone. Basically. It's not just for like Beato, for Leon, it's just like for everyone, just everyone just live happily. Like, Benicastle found the best fragment ever. なまえの珍しさなら、でもごめんなさい。私はあんたを知らないわ。道理でしょうね。私もあなたを知りませんから。そうじゃなくて、あんた誰後ろ見分けにあんたなんかいないわ。どうしてそう決めつけられるんです？
Wait, what was that? Episode... Wait, which episode was Angela introduced? Episode... Three? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, Butler also didn't recognize Angela. I'm dumb. Yeah, makes sense. You think she's six years old and you saw her when she was little, so... Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Sorry, guys. <laughs> あの年の話よ。なるほど。あんたが but also not from your fragment, so you don't exist. Ah, I'm Beatrice. Uh-huh. どういうこと? By this point, I was uh, starting to figure out the situation this Enja had come from. She's probably from the world where I awakened as the witch. The world where Leon doesn't exist. あなたの知る世界と別の世界では私も後宮家の人間なんですあなたの世界での私は別の運命により別の人生を歩み後宮家の人間として生きてはいないのです本当魔女なの uh, well, in your reality, yes. In this reality, no. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, and she's actually pretty nice. Just need to, like, know her better. I wonder what she will do. Like, I, I, I cannot... I, I... I refuse to believe that nothing like the weird is happening with Ben Game. I cannot accept this. Tobin,そんな用紙だったと思います。つまり、私はまた魔女の茶番に付き合わされてるわけね。ここは一体私もさっき目を覚ましたばかりです。ここはどこでしょう。劇場に見えるわ。何かを感激しろってのかしら。今はそういう気分ではありませんね。出口を探しましょう。オッケー。気づいてないの？これ。え？あ、これは。Oh, right. I said I heard chains. So who's chained? Angel or both of them? I finally noticed. Both my wrists and ankles had chains attached to them. Okay, so both of them probably are chained. So because I sat here, I had enough slack that I could move about a little, but it looked like there wouldn't be nearly enough for me to get out of this place. Okay. Angel crossed her legs, making the chains clank together. She must realize that no amount of struggling will break those chains. That getting panically won't accomplish anything. She seems to have nerves of steel. <laughs>あいつらの下僕みたいなもんよ。私は取引したの。家族に会いたい。あの日から連れ戻したいって。魔女はその可能性を与える代わりに私を魔女の駒としたわ。I mm. should explore more I guess the idea of pieces. I didn't really like. I thought like in general about Neko, but never like specifically about pieces themselves. Like, what's the piece exactly? From where the piece goes? Or like, from when is the piece? Like, who makes these pieces on the game board? Are pieces just imaginary? Like, do they exist? Are they like souls of dead? Or like, what are the pieces? I mean, they obviously like, travel through like meta worlds, different game boards, and stuff. So, what exactly are the pieces? 
like in case of like like crowds curia and stuff it's kind of like yeah they just like you know like like on the chessboard you have like just pieces and they just like imaginary i would say that hey this is nj this is kraus just like accept this and we're just playing with them but in nj's situation this is kind of different because she's like from like different timeline it's like more complicated like yeah NJ piece in specific makes me like wonder and now Leon piece as well kind of hmm. お兄ちゃんに会うことだけはできたんだし、バトラ君のこと？エンジェだと名乗ることもできなかったけどね。そしてその囁かな時間と引き換えに、私は今もこうして魔女のおもちゃ箱の中から永遠に抜け出す。You Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, Angel. That's fine. Do you think you were like that? What did you sign up for? I didn't sign up for anything. Did you sign up for anything? Nope. Did you sign up for anything? Leon was just found in the fragment. I told you how much I can tell you how much I can tell you. That's all. Okay. I'll tell you later. If like also this is actually this I didn't thought about this. If you became a piece by striking a deal with a witch, that would mean that every person on Rokenjima made some kind of deal with uh, with Beatrice, right? Because in order to become a witch piece, you need to strike a deal. So every single person on Rekenjima should have something or got something from the witch. So in this case, Shannon. In the, in the, in like a mystery perspective, right? Because in mystery perspective, Shannon is basically a culprit. So Shannon must have some connection to everyone. Some kind of deal. I mean, she have a lot of gold, so and everyone need money, so she could like give money to like a bit like to everyone, I guess. That could be like some kind of like striking a deal. But what she wants from them, then? I don't think like she would like ask them to like, hey, just like I will give you this money, but you have to murder your like relatives. I don't think that's that's how it will work and that they will like agree on that because that makes no sense from like moral perspective. Uh Huh. Well, that's the thing to to think about. Are we going to see Lambda? I I I was liking Lambda recently. I need Lambda.今度は私が誰かの朗読を見るっていうの？ならば初めてちょうだい。私はとっくに退屈している。Okay。Angel <笑> Uh, theatrical, as though someone was announcing the start of a play. Okay. Is this Evatris? Did I hear Evatris voice? Oh my god, Evatris is back once again, holy fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I expect more murders. Okay. The Black Witch is back. Ah, no, Baba, yo. Yeah. Eva Oba-san, the koi da wa. Ano hi ni nani ga hatta katto wa. 
あ、ジズドンリーサバイバル。ロケンジまで最後の親族会議が行われた日のことよ。今日ですね。トゥデイ。トゥデイイズアクトバル 4 ジェテ。一体この2日間に何があったの?え、いいプレオンタイムライン、ナッフィン。え、ジャスト、ライク、ピースフル、グレート、ワールド。What so actually Leon can give answers to Angela if you think about this. The answer she seeks is inside the card box. Even I can tell her nothing except that there was a tragic misunderstanding of the heart. However, I doubt that explanation would satisfy her. Then a pillar of bright light pierced the stage. Oh, Claire is back. Okay. Why you're back? You were like scattered by wheel. So I think you got just stitched back together by burn or something and you are burn peace now. You are not like real Yasu that we saw. Also you have empty eyes again, so it feels like you are just like a husk basically. That's to the figure in white. That figure clothed in a white dress was obviously Claire. Of course, Angel didn't recognize her. She looked suspicious, apparently wondering who in the world this was. However, even I felt as though something was wrong. Didn't uh, she settle all of her regrets at the funeral a short while ago, before being sent off into the next world? Yeah, basically. So this is sus. She stood all alone in the narrowed beam of light in the center of the stage. And the expression on her face was lifeless. Yeah? So, soul is gone. But they brought her body. The light began to grow brighter and brighter. It shone more and more fiercely on her until it became blinding just to look at her. Flashbangs out. The world was enveloped by the light, so bright that we couldn't keep our eyes open. Enveloped by a sound, like wind or a television static, and our minds began to go blank. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we're like viewing the game again? Okay, what are they showing them? They have vision, obviously. <笑>どうかね。手入れしてくれる人たちに感謝しなくちゃ。Okay. Hi, Butler. Finally. Thank you, like, second time in episode 7. 
So I assume all of these here are like Bern Castle pieces basically. So Butler here is also not re reliable source of information here. Because this is basically a vision created by like Husk of the Claire. Basically without soul. And she's a piece of Bern Castle. So basically all of this we can just probably like scrap. Maybe. But I will see. <laughs> Maybe not. Just getting into conclusion too fast. Okay. Can we see the garden from before? Okay. This is like very different introduction to canon than we know from the episode one. From the episode one they know him just like first time when he like uh, flipped over the wheelbarrow when he was like working. Okay, Shannon is here, but nowhere to be seen. So, once again, only one person at the same time. But I would be not surprised if they actually show Shannon and Canon at the same time on screen and talk to the both of them at the same time. Because this is basically vision that Ben Castle giving them, right? Or something something like that. So she can like manufacture this however she wants. So it's not very uh, like not very trustful trustworthy. Oh Shannon chan! Okay. Okay. Well, they getting married. If they wouldn't get killed, both of them. Oh, God. Okay, first, like, outside of canon, first servant we see is Goda. Okay. After enjoying the lovely welcome provided by the roses, the relatives followed Goda in the direction of the guest house. Okay. Everyone's fine so far. October 4th, 86. The Rokenjima. Okay, now we're going with the Witch in the Gold. A world without a Leon. The day of the Ushimiya family conference. Family's family conference. Are we playing now the correct game? Are we playing now the correct game? What's happening? Why are they showing us like twilights and everything again? We've been through this like six times now. The mysterious letter that Maria read aloud after dinner, just as she had been told to. Okay, so let's see if there will be like some new information that we may or may not trust just by how it's pr like presented. The writer of the letter claimed to be the Golden Witch Beatrice and challenged the family. Solve the, epi uh, the riddle of the epitaph. Otherwise, I will take everything. That's slightly different. I mean, oh, no, no, wait. It's the same. It's just like simplistic. Simplistically said here. Okay. It was the letter that declared the start of the Beatrice game. Just as it had apparently appar appeared in so many games before. Had an unknown person appeared to complicate the inheritance problem. Where, uh, where was the 20 billion yen worth of gold hidden? What was the purpose of this letter? What was gold had it been written? Who on earth was this Beatrice? It was that tangled web of suspicion and paranoia that had been a constant in every game. The dinner of October 4th. 
Yeah, we, we need to argue about stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, well, they tried for like several years, from what we know from the previous, like, I mean from the episode 7 in general, they tried to solve the epitaph before. Maybe not in this timeline, actually. Oh no, it is this timeline, because the, there was Shannon and there is Shannon as well, okay. Not really. It belongs to Kinzo. So far. ルガーシャなんかに譲ってたまるものですか。あの黄金祭見つかりえ、俺たちは全員ハッピー。誰もそんがねえんだがね。行こう、みんな。ここからは大人の話だよ。いやれやれ。いやいやこしそうな話だ
あなたは知っているこの物語の真相をいくつかの仮説は考えてるわ。Okay, so, yeah. でも、どの説にも最終的な答えは出せない。And you are like me. Kind of. I'm, I think like I'm getting closer and closer. I still don't get like. I can't like fix every problem I have. With like why and stuff. We pretty much know who, right? Like Shannon. And we know there's a second culprit, at least second one. And based on just like. You know. Behavior and stuff. Like behavior and interactions between like characters, talk. I talked about this like in like two episodes already. Basically, I think like second culprit might be Kyria, who like made like chain reaction and like people just started murdering each other or something. And the first one is Shannon. But it's still like. I still cannot like see exactly why. Yeah, truth is inside the card box. If it's in the card box, then whatever I say is true, right? Because if we don't debunk it, then it's true, right? And this world ends just absent on the day. So it's only natural that she doesn't know what happened. However, at the very least, I do know who the culprit is and what they were trying to do. I don't know what they were trying to do. I mean, they obviously, like... Also... Leon just said they, so... It seems like culprits are together in this? Like, we have two culprits, but they, like, two are together in this. Because they were trying something, like, together. Right? Or what do you mean? Wait, I know who the culprit is, so single one, and what they were trying to do. So culprit and someone who is like collaborating with her. Do Just tell her the name. Problem solved. We're finishing the game. One thing, one, uh, I talked about this before, I didn't like made this, uh, I think in the words I want to say, but I talked about like, I think what if like Shannon, yeah, Shannon wants like basically uh, Butler, George or Jessica find the gold, right? So in other words, ju just to be short and quick. Uh, Basically, if no one finds it, then she takes everything, right? And it specifically said everything. So basically lives of everyone, the mansion. Well, she didn't do Krokenjima. Uh, I mean, uh, Kubadorian, but yeah. Everything, basically. So, hidden gold. And stuff. Right? Okay. So, if someone finds it, then she gives everything. And that includes herself. So yeah, if Butler finds the gold, then everyone's fine because everything belongs to Butler. If Butler wants to kill them, then well, they will die. If he don't want to kill them, then they will live, basically. Basically, she's giving her own fate and fate of everyone else in the hands of whoever will find the epitaph. So if, for example, Eva found the epitaph and she's greedy, and she don't want to share, 
then if she wants to, then she's just like, you know what, just kill my siblings off and the money is mine. Just like that, you know? And maybe that's how she was able to escape in episode 3 because she found the epitaph. So she have like full control over Ushiromiya's, basically, right? Like Genji and Kumasawa at least are devoted to whoever finds the gold. Right? So... Eva went with the plan, murdered everyone, and escaped? Something like that? Okay, I, I'm, I'm stretching it too much, I think. Yeah, but it's definitely like, now when we know about the epitaph more, and how it works, then it's worth to check it on the LP archive again. わざわざ俺らに解いてみろなんて挑発するかってんだ。使用人の誰かのいたずらだわ。あわよく黄金が見つかったら、ご主人にお小ぼれがもらえるかもしれないっていう寂しい考えに違いないわよ。当家の使用
So maybe everyone else have like one golden bar. And they just like don't want to tell anyone else because well that would be like hey you know where the gold is just tell me and stuff like that you know they would start accusing each other huh おかしな黒いものだな。俺たち以外に遺産を要求している人間がいると思わせて。Okay. Ask for some harsh money here for staying out of the inheritance issue. Huh. I mean, if you think about this, they like the siblings don't really want inheritance. Outside of Kraus, I think only Kraus wants really inheritance and be head of the family and stuff. Actually, he don't even want that. He just wants to have time to pay his like moon tourism stuff. <laughs> what a like ah. Uh... So basically, the inheritance itself doesn't mean anything to them. They just want money for their own businesses, and they need like what was that like? 300,000 yen for now, if I remember correctly, from episode episode 4 or episode 3, I believe they talked about that, like uh, specific zooms. Huh. Yeah, see? That's how it made, like, uh, take the deal away. Like, the, uh, like, they don't know who, but someone contacted them, gave them, like, a gold bar or something, or promised them that they will get, like, the gold after they do something. So that's why we have, like, this mini golden land. And the safe, and uh, the, with the... Uh, card that uh, Nanjo had, Enje, Kumasawa. So maybe one, uh, each one of them have one. But they don't get like password or anything for this yet. And this is basically, if you don't solve the epitaph, I'm never go, I'm never going to tell you how to get this money. Basically, that's like what's it like in my mind right now. Something around th these areas. But still, what the culprit wants from them? Exactly. Like... It's not like, hey, murder each other. It's like, not going to work like that. Like... What the fuck? They're not psychopaths. Maybe Kiri is a bit of psychopath. Hmm... それ以上でもいいかでもないっていうことやな。つまりよ、こんな手紙気にしたら負けってことだぜ。うん。どうかんだ。ワープヨーテ。まるでスイリ小説のようなミステリアスな演出だったのだ。ついつい私たちも面白
No objections here. What object to money or love? Interesting phrasing, Rudolph. おやじ殿の遺産をいつ転がり込んでくるかは分からない。しかし、非分の黄金は違う。見つかれば直ちに山分けだ。ある意味、お父様の遺産以上に目の前にある金だわ。いや。非分の謎が解ければの話だけれど
Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you everyone for being with me. So leave up a like if you like this tea party. Uh, join my Discord. Leave the subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you all in the next episode. So thank you everyone once again for supporting me. And I will see you in the next one. Yeah. See ya, bye.